guys, this is my fourth part of the must-have apps for Android. So let's go ahead and begin the countdown. So guys, the first one in my list is the Panorama 360. It's pretty much like the Photosphere that you get with the Android 4.2. It's like a panorama, but it combines all the photos together to create a 3D kind of image. You can see panoramas from other people over here. And to take your panorama, you can tap onto this button and start taking it. So earlier I took this pic. Okay, just a second. Okay, you can have a closer look at it. It's not perfect though, but a pretty cool feature to have. The next one is the vault. It's like your secret box. You can hide your photos, videos, SMS, etc. This app supports multi-language plugins as well. So you can download additional languages to use this app. So, and say for example, if you want to add some photos, you can hide it. You can go on to photos. And you'll have a list of all the photos that you have in your phone. So you can just select the image that you want to hide. So that's pretty much it. You can also hide your SMS and call logs, videos, private contacts, Facebook messages. So pretty handy. So the next app in my list is the free zone Wi-Fi. So this app allows you to connect to a free Wi-Fi. Say for example, if your Wi-Fi is turned on, as soon as you are in a range of a free network, you are automatically connected. So very helpful. So guys, the next one in my list is the mirror. The app itself says what it does. It's a mirror with zoom and exposure controls. This app uses the front facing camera, but personally I feel checking out yourself with the mirror app is better than opening up the camera app and switching the camera. So it's very helpful. So the next one in my list is the Appy Geek. This app gives you all the information, latest news and development news from the mobile world. So you know you can do your settings over here. You can set up your home screen, articles counter and other settings as well. And you can add additional tiles, say for example, you get these tabs, you know, featured, hot topics, last added. Okay. Say for example, I have checked top stories, all news, google news, ok say I want the STC news and uh, nexus news so you can just uh, check it and now you go back so you'll have this new you know, STC and this nexus tiles added over here and you can simply tap onto it you know to go into the detail and you can read the news over here and if you are interested in any one of it you can simply click it to go on to detail so that's pretty much it next one is the cedar this app reduces lags for root users only as this app requires root permissions and it really does work guys you can just hit you can turn it on and hit start automatically on boot and you and you need to restart your phone you definitely feel the difference it definitely works so the next one in my list is the safe plus this app is designed for the secure storage of your private informations like files, passwords, your bank accounts and so on. It also provides you know great features like synchronization to Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. Okay. Say for example, if you have an important mail that you want to hide or that you want to keep it safe, you can go onto the mail folder. You can simply hit this button and you can hit insert a file and go on to your external or your internal memory. And select that file and hit OK. So that will definitely, you know, keep that file safely. It's a very, very handy app and it's really important. So, guys, the next one in my list is the Sensor Music Player. This app is similar to Wave Control that I've shown in my previous video, but this app is definitely better than the Wave Control as it provides additional features like, you know, Wave Over that is similar to the Wave Control Pro. Waving over the phone will change the track or play or pause it. You also get features like, you know, pocket and hammer. So how this pocket works is, say for example, your phone is in your pocket and you have earphones connected to your phone. And you know, you can simply tap onto your phone from outside. The track will automatically begin. And if you tap it again, it will pause. So it's pretty handy. 
also for hammer say for example your phone is in a flat surface you can just tap onto the table you can increase or decrease your sensitive level sensitivity label first and you can tap onto the table that vibration will begin the track and again the next tap will pause it so you can go ahead and try it out guys and you can do your you know customizations and so on the next one is the foreshad you can share your files with your friends and you can also get apk's music and other files as well from this app so just for example you can hit this search button and say gta vice city apk and it'll have the respective file and you can just go ahead and download it so not only apk's you can also get music and wallpapers and other stuffs like that the next one is the droid papers you get popular wallpapers from you know stock roms and famous custom roms say for example if you go into stock wallpapers that is the official wallpapers from android samsung stc sony ericsson and so on you can go on to any one of it and you can explore whichever you feel like you know setting as your wallpaper you can just open up that app and hit sell, let it load and you can just hit set wallpaper and it works great so that's pretty much it guys i'll be coming up with more videos so stay subscribed thanks a lot for watching bye bye now and have a good day